We're very lucky. We got to spend a couple of nights. We kind of the whole group was split in two, and then we did two nights and two nights up in a up in the mountains in Rilaka Cray, which was awesome. So they were sort of split into groups of four or three, and then put in with a family. So what's really interesting in the classroom is that you learn about these problems. The people are just, you know, theoretical in some sense, but going on the trip and meeting the people, seeing who you're designing for and realizing you're not just designing for them, but with them. Seeing the difference in lifestyle and the attitude of people over there was very eye-opening because I haven't been able to see much like that before. There were a lot of social aspects that I assumed were one way, but then we got there and it was completely different. For example, there's really great senses of community and working together, but there's sort of a flip side to that that I didn't know about, that if someone tries to do something privately for just their family, it would be sabotaged by other community members, which is something that you wouldn't know from any of the research you read, but it's really important to know for when you're designing something, because you don't want to accidentally design something that won't get used. I think the other aspect that was quite cultural that we didn't really know about before was that they don't drink rainwater. It's just culturally, it's not something that they're always comfortable with. Some families will collect it for toilets and things, but it's very rare to actually drink it. So obviously, coming up with a design that uses rainwater sounds really great to an Australian, but if you tried to implement it there, it wouldn't get used. I think there's just so much that isn't just said with words through just, you know, I guess just facial expressions, playing with the kids. Although there was that language barrier there, I think it was really, um, it was quite a challenge, but also quite rewarding to build that relationship with them. My advice to anyone thinking of coming to ANU is you should, and as early as you can, go on a trip like this.